and the winter blast is impacting parts of the U.S. and it's having a big effect on the deliveries of the coronavirus vaccinations from coast to coast. The resulting shortage has prompted some vaccination sites to completely shut down. Reporter Reed Binion has more on those concerns and a look at some of the new dangers from the virus. With many parts of the country still reeling from the impact of severe winter weather, the nation is also facing a major setback in the coronavirus vaccine rollout, delays caused by the brutal storms. We have accumulating backlog of vaccines that uh, need to be boxed and shipped. Dr. Anthony Fauci says the U.S. will have to work double time to make up for weather-related vaccination delays. Other health officials are echoing that sentiment. That's going to mean longer appointment uh, hours. It's going to mean uh, more shipping hours, and we're going to ask everybody to do their part. That push is critical in taking on variants of the virus that could fuel another surge. And the continued spread of variants that are more transmissible could je jeopardize the progress we have made in the last month. Dr. Fauci says the vaccine is one of two important tools at this stage. The other, adhering to public health guidelines we're all familiar with. The wearing of masks universally, physical distancing, avoiding congregate settings, washing of the hands. This all comes amid new information on the danger of the virus. One small study from Washington state showing that pregnant women last spring appeared to be at a 70% higher risk for infection. And the CDC revealing that the virus was a significant factor in U.S. life expectancy dropping a full year in the first half of 2020. It dropped even more for black and Hispanic Americans. I'm Reed Binion reporting.